Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel that is Biochemistry Basics by Dr. Amit. Today's topic is Serum Creatinine Test. Learning objectives are first introduction, then we will see the normal values of serum creatinine, then we will see how to do the interpretation of a serum creatinine value, then how to do the creatinine test, and in the last we will see formation of creatinine. So first introduction. So basically creatinine it is the waste product which is synthesized from creatinine in the muscle and it gets excreted by the kidney and it is one of the important test and good test for the kidney function test means it is used to assess the functional capacity of kidney. Normal values of serum creatinine are in the males it is 0 0.7 to 1.4. In the female, it is 0.6 to 1.2 milligram per deciliter. The value in the females are less as compared to the males because uh, serum creatinine values are depend on the muscle mass. Values in the children up to 3 years of age is around 0.3 to 0.7 milligram per deciliter. And in the children from 3 to 18 years, it is 0.5 to 1 milligram per deciliter. So these are the normal values of serum creatinine. Now, there are the two tests which are frequently done in the kidney function test. One is the urea and another is the creatinine. Urea is the end product of protein metabolism and creatinine, it is synthesized from the creatine in the muscle. So, which one is the better kidney function test, urea or creatine? So, the answer is creatinine is the better function test as compared to the urea because serum creatinine level depends on the glomerular filtration and not on other factors like secretion, tubular reabsorption or dietary intake. So, these are the reason why creatinine is better kidney function test as compared to the urea. Now, interpretations. So, what are the various conditions that lead, leads to increase in the serum creatinine level? So, first, pre-renal conditions like congestive heart failure, shock, severe diarrhea and uncontrolled diabetes mellitus. These are the conditions which can lead to the increase in the serum creatinine value. Now let's see the condition. In the renal, there are the, uh, if there is a damage to the glomeruli and that leads to the acute renal failure and chronic renal failure, in that condition there will be the increase in the creatinine uh, level. Then post renal uh, conditions like if there is a benign prostatic hypertrophy, if there is a calculi blocking the ureter and if there is a neoplasm which can compress the ureter. So, these are the T condition pre-renal, renal and post-renal which leads to increase in the serum creatinine. Another condition is muscular dystrophy which also leads to increase in the creatinine value. But that occurs in the earlier phase. In the later phase, as there is a redu reduced muscle mass, there will be the reduction in the creatinine value. So, that is the muscular dystrophy. Now, let's see how this creatinine is formed. So, as we already, we have already seen that creatinine is formed in the muscle from the creatine. And this creatine is formed from three amino acids. One is the glycine, arginine and methionine. There is a glycine and there is an arginine. Amidino group from the arginine is transferred to the glycine and this arginine gets converted to the ornithin and there is a synthesis of guanidinoacetate in the presence of enzyme that is called as a glycine amidotransferase and this particular step occurs in the kidney. Now, this guanidoacetate, it gets methylated with the help of S-adenosyl methionin and this SAM get converted to the S-adenosyl homocysteine and guanidoacetate, when it gets methylated with the help of guanidoacetate methyl transferase, it gets converted to the creatine and it, this particular step is occurring in the liver. So, there is a synthesis of creatine with the help of Three amino acid, one is the glycine, another is the arginine, another is the methionine. So there is a synthesis of creatine. Now this creatine gets phosphorylated with the help of ATP 
in the presence of creatine kinase enzyme then it gets converted to the creatine phosphate and this third step is occurring in the muscle so the first step is occurring in the kidney second step is occurring in the liver and the third step is occurring in the muscle and this creatine phosphate acts as a storage form of energy for the muscle contraction so whenever there is a muscle a muscle is contracted there will be the demand for the energy so this it there will be the hydrolyzation of atp and this atp will be regenerated with the help of creatine phosphate so that particular reaction is called as a low mans reaction low mans reaction and this creatine phosphate gets converted to the creatinine which is a an hydride product of this creatinine phosphate spontaneously non enzymatically so that's how this creatinine is synthesized from the creatine phosphate spontaneously and non enzymatically means there is no any enzyme is required for this conversion and this creatinine is the an hydride product of creatine phosphate this is how creatine creatinine is synthesized from the creatine phosphate and that occurs in the muscle now how to do the creatinine test to do the creatinine test we require serum fine we require serum for the creatinine test and serum can be uh, separated from the blood collected in the plain vacutainer an estimation is done with the help of one uh, method that is called as a jaffe's method now what is the principle of this jaffe's test so creatinine reacts with the saturated picric acid in a alkaline medium and it form a red colored compound which is called as a creatine pic picrate whose absorbance is measured at 520 nanometer remember it is a saturated picric acid and the medium is alkaline medium which leads to red color compound creatine picrate and the absorbance or optical density od is measured at the 520 nanometer so that is the principle of jaffe's test is jaffe's method sensitive no it is not a, it is not sensitive because 80% of the color which is developed is due to the creatine in the serum and the rest 20% color which is developed is due to the reaction of alkaline picrate with other substances like glucose urea uric acid and protein so that that is the reason why this jaffe's method is not sensitive we can determine true creatinine value by getting read of this non specific chromogens by lloyd's reagent which is hydrated aluminum silicate and another method is also there for the estimation of uh, creatinine that is called as a enzymatic method but the only drawback of this enzymatic method is it is not cost effective hope you have find this information useful please like share and subscribe biochemistry basics by dr amit thank you